So we're here with uh, Adam Smith from Sky Sports um, here at the Broadmarsh um, Shopping Centre in Nottingham. Just had the Carl Froch uh, open workout. Um, first of all, what have you made of this crowd turning up? You've been to a few of these and it's been spectacular today. Absolutely phenomenal, isn't it? I mean, we were here six months ago and uh, you know, it was sort of one, two deep around the barriers, but I mean, it was just an electric today, a huge turnout. And I think this fight has just captured the imagination like, like no other in, on British soil in recent memory. And I think um, that's the beautiful thing about it. You know, we had everything last time, the, the brutal battle, the controversial stoppage, it's unfinished business, two guys that don't get on, two guys that need each other. And the, the, the best thing, of course, is that nobody knows who's going to win the fight. So um, it's got everything, and I think it's great that Carl's had such a fantastic turnout here in Nottingham, and I expect that George will have a very big turnout down in West London tomorrow as the as the road show closes in on Wembley. Definitely. And of course, um, you've been uh, on ringside when they've both been in the studio. But what has that been like, and the tension in the studio on those occasions? I tell you what, the tension last time before the first fight on, on Halloween was very, very icy, and, and I think that. The, George really got under Carl's skin. I think this time Carl was more prepared for it, so I think that he gave as good as he as he was given. And, and it was also there was a, there was an audience there this time, so it's something different. But it was tense. And um, and then we had a, a gloves are off and uh, a Facebook meeting as well. So they had sort of 24 hours in each other's company. And um, I think the best way to sort of sum it up is that they wanted to go their separate ways at the end. Um, I think that, you know whatever happens on Saturday night, there might be some begrudging respect between the pair, but I don't think they're ever going to be sitting around having Sunday dinner together. They're just very different personalities, uh, they're different generations, uh, they're different people, uh, both great guys in their own way, but they just don't get on, and I think that's, uh, that tension has added uh, to the chemistry, rather like you know Ben and you back, back in the day. And I mean, if uh, George Groves wins this fight, uh, could we see a third fight? And I mean, how will it get any bigger than this if there is a third fight? Yeah, well, I don't know, I don't know how it gets bigger than this. Wembley 80,000 is, is incredible. You know, no one that's been in boxing for the last 10, 20 years has seen anything like this. So, I mean, it's uh, it's going to be new a new experience for all of us. Um, listen, if it's another great fight, Groves edges in or whatever, we could do it again. Of course, we'd love to do it again. But let's just get, let's get through this because the first fight was really tough. And, you know, and, and Carl is nearly 37 now. He might not want to go on much beyond this fight. So let's, let's enjoy Saturday night and worry about what happens uh, after that then but you know there's there's huge opportunities for both of them should they win and of course Sky Sports have a great relationship with Eddie Hearn and the matchroom stable yep. um, in terms of uh, Eddie Hearn he's been uh, said publicly that he wants to host uh, more of these domestic battles is that something that you at Sky Sports want to see as well absolutely you know I think that, that this has really captured the imagination you know if you think about other British fights or, or Irish English like Frampton and Quigg or Khan and Brook, you know, and what a battle that will be in the Northwest, for example. I think that, you know, while we've got the attention of the casual fans on us, you know, the trade fans are always going to crave for the best 50 50 fights you can get. And, and obviously, we do our very best to deliver as many as possible. But I think now the casual fans are really hooked into this. This is a time in the next sort of year, 18 months, to really get the big the big British dust ups going. And I think James de Gale, if he wins on, on Saturday night, is right in the mix. You know, if Groves wins, Groves de Gale rematch would be really tense, wouldn't it? And if, if Froch wins, then Froch and de Gale as well. So, I, yes, I, I agree with Eddie. I think um, it'd be great to see these sort of blockbusters this side of the Atlantic. No, definitely. And you mentioned James de Gale there, and with this weight division, it really um, looks back and mirrors uh, the uh, Eubank Ben Watson era. I mean, what do you make? You well, it was great, about? wasn't it? You know, I was at university during the, during the sort of Ben Eubank days, and, and I, Eubank was my absolute, I loved him, you know, I loved everything that he did in the ring. My, my mates were all Ben fans, you know, everyone, you liked one or the other, didn't you? And I think that that was, that was the beauty of that. Uh, and again, that sort of, you know, the fact they didn't get on, the fact that they were both great fighters at the same time, and in the same weight division, I think that, you know, it's, you look at someone like Joe Calzaghe, who in my opinion was, was the best British fighter we probably had since the war, or John Conti maybe, you know, he, he, was, he was unbelievable, you know, and, and, but unfortunately he didn't have great fighters around him, you know, he, he fought Hopkins and Jones towards the end, but you know, I think it, it's, it's imperative, you know, to be remembered as, as, as a, a real battle if you've got those other great names with you, and I think that that's what Ben and Eubank and Watson had, and then Collins came in, and Joe just sort of sat after that time before the next time, and I think having spoken to him the other day, he's sort of, he's, he's, he's sad really that he didn't get the chance to sort of mix with these two, he's, he's obviously too old now and he's retired, but I think that's what that's what it has, you have dance partners, don't you, and um, you know, you, you, the trilogies of 
of Arley and Frazier and Barrera Morales of Gassi and Ward of, of Bow and Olyfield and you know and, and these two Frotch and Groves need each other and who knows don't count out a third fight no, definitely and uh, finally what is your prediction for this fight I know it's neutral <laughs> you know I I, I I could sit on the fence um, being in, in the position I am obviously I work with both of them um, but you know what I am sitting on the fence with this because I really can't pick it um, one day I wake up I think Carl the next day I think George I think it's a, a very very close fight uh, that's why if you ask 100 people mind you, if you ask everyone here today they'll say Carl <laughs> Frotch but if you ask 100 people in the street mm. they'll say 50 will say Carl and 50 will say George and that's where I sit on it I just want to see a great fight unfold and, and may the best guy win but I really can't pick him I think it's that close and one thing's for sure uh, the fans are going to be winners no matter what absolutely you know it's, um, it's going to be a tremendous occasion at Wembley it's, it's a huge event it's a fantastic card it's a great night the end of May, you know, maybe it's come at a time, the end of the football season, mm. before the World Cup, it's sitting in that perfect window. Yeah. You know, last year we had Andy Murray winning Wimbledon, you know, maybe this is going to be the highlight of this, this spring summer. So I just say everybody enjoy it um, because these fights don't come around that often. And um, I just think this is uh, it's all set for a, an amazing night at Wembley and I just can't wait. And neither can my team, you know, we have been so excited about it for the last three months and uh, it's now nearly upon us. Well, been, and this fight week's come at a perfect time as well. I mean, today is obviously a bank holiday and it's half term, so especially another big turnout this absolutely. weekend for the public you know, I, I weigh live, in. Absolutely, I live very near uh, George Groves actually in West London mm. and my kids are coming down to the workout tomorrow. You know, I think it's a great time, you know. People have come here and, as you say, back holiday and half term week. It's fantastic for the fans. I also think, you know, we've had a super weekend of sport with the playoffs yeah. and, the, and the golf and the, and the Monaco Grand Prix. I think now we can all sit back and enjoy the boxing. You know, this is what it's all about. And, you know, I sort of feel like almost like we've all been through a fight camp uh, ourselves over the last 12 weeks. And so now we're just honing in on the way in and the big night. And, uh, yeah, it's very exciting. And what, what content uh, do Sky Sports have this week? Uh, we've had the gloves are off uh, on Saturday. Uh, what? What other content um, can we have? Uh, it's expect? pretty much wall to wall on Sky Sports One this week. Or the odd live event. It's pretty much boxing all the way through. You're going to see a lot of old Fox fights, a lot of old Gross fights. You're going to see old ringside specials. You're going to see new programs. The tactics is on tonight. Another chance to see the gloves are off from Saturday because obviously it was running late because of the Champions League final extra time. Um, you're going to see the behind the ropes with the two of them, which is a, a, you know, a great opportunity to, to see the sort of whole build up in the camps with, um, with Carl and George. That's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We're ringside from Wembley. Friday, the final countdown from Wembley. And then on Wednesday, Saturday, Sky Sports Box Office, live from 6 o'clock. And um, you know, a great evening of, of action, entertainment, and, um, and what an atmosphere it's going to be. Oh, that's great, Adam. Thank you so much. Pleasure.